Welcome to my YouTube channel scientific underscore math. In this lecture we learn types of discontinuities. Removable discontinuity, jump discontinuity and infinite discontinuity. We also uh, write a MATLAB code to plot these discontinuities, jump discontinuity and infinite discontinuity. Here we have a graph of different functions with uh, removable discontinuity and uh, this shows uh, jump discontinuity and uh, this graph uh, show infinite discontinuity removable discontinuity a removable discontinuity is a discontinuity uh, for which there is a hole in the graph and we see that if we have a uh, some gra uh, function f of x and uh, the graph of uh, this function is uh, like that and we see here a hole in the graph and that shows a removable discontinuity and uh, here we have a definition of removable discontinuity f has a removable discontinuity at a if limit of the function at x approaches to a exist uh, so let's uh, discuss a example related to removable discontinuity and we have an example the function f of x is equal to x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 is discontinuous at x is equal to 2 yes this is given that the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 2 we have to classify the discontinuity type which type of discontinuity is and their removable jump or infinite discontinuity so uh, let's start the solution and uh, if we uh, uh, substitute the value of x is equal to 2 uh, we get 0 by 0 form that is undefined form and uh, now we compute the limit of the function as x approaches to 2 f of x so uh, we simplify and uh, use here formula of a square minus b square cancel out these terms x minus 2 and x minus 2 we get this and after applying the limit we get 4 uh, since f is discontinuous at 2 uh, we know that this is given uh, the function is discontinuous at 2 and uh, limit of the function is exist we have compute the limit of the function that is 4 uh, it is exist this mean f has a removable discontinuity at x is equal to 2 now we have a, a second type of discontinuity that is jump discontinuity okay and uh, a jump discontinuity is a uh, non infinite discontinuity for which uh, the sections of the graph do not meet up here we can see that uh, this is a function and uh, this is another section and of the function and these are not uh, meet up okay here we have a jump discontinuity and the definition of the jump discontinuity is this f has a jump discontinuity at a point a if left limit and the right limit both exist but not equal okay and this is the condition of a jump discontinuity when we have a jump discontinuity the limit of the function left and right limit exist but these are not equal this shows uh, we have a jump discontinuity and uh, let's discuss example uh, the function that is we have a function x uh, minus x square plus 4 if x is less than or equal to 3 and uh, 4x minus 8 if x greater than 3 we have a piecewise function and is discontinuous at x is equal to 3 we have given that this function is discontinuous at x equal to 3 but we have to uh, identify or classify the uh, type of discontinuity that is a removable or jump or infinite discontinuity which type of discontinuity is here so let's start the solution of the fun uh, given example and uh, first we compute or uh, calculate the lim uh, function value at and theory we get is that is minus 5 and uh, this mean the uh, function is defined at x is equal to 3 now we calculate the limit of the function uh, to do we what we do we compute left limit and right limit of the function and so uh, this is the left limit of the function that is uh, we get uh, value 
minus 5 and uh, uh, when we compute the right limit we get 4 uh, these are not equal left limit is not equal to right limit and uh, this is the condition this is the definition we have uh, when right limit is not equal to left limit and then uh, we have a jump discontinuity okay uh, so therefore the limit does not exist we conclude that the function has a discontinuity at 3 now we write MATLAB code for uh, jump discontinuity how to plot uh, uh, mat, uh, uh, function uh, uh, in MATLAB and that is piecewise function and with the different limits we plot uh, MATLAB code uh, we plot this in MATLAB using MATLAB code uh, so we have a MATLAB code uh, CLC clear all and close all then we take a limit that is uh, uh, it's depend upon us uh, what we take uh, and this is the x vector uh, minus 3 to 5 it's up to u and uh, x is equal to lin space and this command is used to linearly spaced points we take 100 points between a uh, minus 3 and 3 we take 100 points this mean this command is used to linearly space point that are we uh, take 100 points okay now we set the, uh, the figure color that is white we want uh, uh, to use the figure color white okay uh, we can also take different colors uh, red blue and etc so first we uh, start a loop for plotting point to point uh, that will make an animated code okay so uh, we uh, take off uh, we write off uh, for loop for i is equal to 1 to length of x then we uh, use uh, capital X is equal to x of i and uh, uh, then we uh, use if command if x of i is less than or equal to 3 because we have a, a piecewise function when x is less than or equal to 3 uh, we use this function when x is greater than 3 we use uh, this function so uh, we uh, take here uh, if x uh, of i is less than we also uh, take here right here capital x instead of x of i okay uh, when x of i is uh, less than or equal to 3 we use y is equal to minus capital x and uh, uh, dot uh, caret square because we have a square over here plus 4 else uh, we have a y is equal to 4 into capital X minus 8 yeah, here we have a second function when X is greater than 3 okay uh, so we hold on for uh, plotting different uh, uh, graphs we take X is uh, minus 10 to 10 X axis and uh, minus 10 to 20 Y axis okay and this command used to plot these axis these this one x axis we take x axis minus 8 to 8 and y axis minus 10 to 15 these axis okay and marker size uh, for this one is 2 and the 2 okay similarly and uh, plot our function capital x and uh, this y okay okay with uh, we use a uh, dot okay red line uh, red color with dot these are the dotted dotted over here okay and the marker size of the dot is 12 okay and hold off the title of the function is a function is discontinuous at x is equal to 3 we know that okay and now we have a uh, infinite discontinuity and uh, infinite discontinuity and infinite discontinuity is a discontinuity located at the vertical asymptotes okay these are the asymptotes we have and uh, the and uh, this is second one we have and here we have a discontinuity vertical discontinuity over here and uh, the definition of the infinite discontinuity is f has a, a infinite discontinuity at a point a if and the left limit is equal to plus minus infinity and the right limit is equal to plus minus infinity okay uh, let's discuss our example and determine whether the function is continuous uh, determine whether the function is continuous at x is equal to minus 1 if the function is discontinuous at uh, minus 1 classify the discontinuity as a removable jump or 
infinite discontinuity so let's start the solution and uh, we here we seen that the function is undefined at x is equal to minus 1 this shows the function is discontinuous at x is equal to 1 okay uh, let's uh, uh, compute the limit left limit and the right limit therefore the function is not continuous at minus 1 means it is continuous okay and to determine the type of discontinuity we compute the limit at minus 1 okay now we compute the left limit and right limit we can see that over here plus infinity the here will be plus infinity okay and uh, similarly when compute we right limit here will also plus infinity okay we conclude that the function has a uh, infinite uh, discontinuity and uh, this is our uh, requ uh, required result okay now uh, we discuss the MATLAB code uh, to plot uh, this type of discontinuity infinite discontinuity and this is our function that is uh, uh, that has a uh, infinite discontinuity okay again we use CLC clear all and close all we take the limit X or uh, input vector X is equal to minus 2 to 1 okay with increment of 0 0.01 we use again uh, figure color that is white and hold on and uh, X is uh, for x axis minus 3 to 2 they, uh, we can see that uh, minus 3 to to this axis we have set and uh, for y axis minus 100 to 100 we uh, setting this function uh, y axis minus 100 to 100 okay now we plot these axis these lines okay using the commands plot command minus 4 to 4 for x axis with black color and uh, uh, y axis uh, minus 100 to 100 with the black color okay we have we can see that uh, this is the y-axis with uh, 100 minus 100 to 100 and uh, x-axis with uh, minus 4 to 4 okay uh, now we uh, plot uh, okay giving uh, title of uh, that is uh, infinite discontinuity here we have a title infinite discontinuity and we plot our uh, function this is our function uh, f is equal to this and y is equal to f of x okay okay uh, then uh, we use plot command to plot this function that is uh, x comma y with blue lines and the line width okay the line width of this blue line is 2 uh, now we uh, run these MATLAB uh, codes uh, on MATLAB and we check our uh, required result so uh, this is our MATLAB code for in uh, infinite discontinuity this is the infinite discontinuity okay and that we have discussed and uh, we can also uh, plot uh, using animated uh, MATLAB code okay we plot this using Okay, this is animated MATLAB code okay this will plot uh, infinite discontinuity here we have a uh, at x is equal to minus 1 the function is discontinuous okay and this is animated MATLAB code for infinite discontinuity okay thank you so much for watching my video and uh, please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math